The day started out with a lot of hope. In fact, I was standing next to Len Dawson, my broadcast partner, who of course was part of so many great Chiefs Raiders games at three o'clock. It was the old uh, AFL game. Late in the day, it kind of took me back to my childhood growing up with this team. But the day turned out to be like most of the others this season and a disappointing loss to the Oakland Raiders 26 to 16. In fact, six becomes an operative number for a lot of reasons. 26 to 16 final score. The Chiefs are now one and six on the season. But they've lost to the Raiders here in this awesome venue six straight times. Kansas City's not beaten Oakland here since 2006. Throughout the week on KCChiefs.com, I kind of chronicle what was key, I thought, in this game. And the first paragraph of this game ended up being uh, one of the decisive areas, and that is commanding the line of scrimmage against Richard Seymour, Tommy Kelly, Matt Shaughnessy, and Lamar Houston. Oakland won that battle all day long. In fact, Jamal Charles touched the ball eight times. He had only 10 yards, and he came into the game as the leading rusher in the NFL in yards per game and also the most productive running back in the league, player in the league, in yards from scrimmage. But the sixes keep on coming. Positively, 56. Derek Johnson was remarkable in this game. He was all over the place, making play after play, uh, up and down the field, side to side, seemingly giving Kansas City a chance to win. Another six was Ryan Suckup, a hat trick, including a 52-yard field goal that gave Kansas City seemingly a chance to win. The critical play was standing right here, right here. At 6-6, six to six, more sixes for you. At the end of the first half, Kansas City was going to have possession and a chance to have two consecutive possessions to end the half and start the third quarter with at least a 6-6 tie. But Javier Arenas, normally dependable and had earlier in the game and had a great punt return, fumbles a punt that he was trying to fair catch. A big pile up right here at my feet. Oakland had the ball. They only had to go a short distance and they get a touchdown at the end of the first half to take a 13 to 6 lead. And then Kansas City fumbles the center to quarterback exchange on the first play from scrimmage in the third quarter. Oakland gets an easy field goal from Janikowski. He had four of them. And it was a two possession lead then for Oakland and that was too much for Kansas City to overcome. How did the day go? They finally got Janikowski to miss a field goal. A 37 yard miss, which he only had missed one all year and nothing from that distance. And the Chiefs were off sides, giving him another chance. So he, go ahead, he went ahead and hit the 32 yarder. Very frustrating, very frustrating. Now Kansas City has got a short amount of time as the Chiefs have got to get on a plane Wednesday and fly to San Diego to take on the Chargers in a Thursday night game. The Chargers lost 7-6 to six to the Cleveland Browns. All kinds of challenges face this team. We'll see who can answer those challenges Thursday night on a short week in San Diego. 26-16 Raiders. I'm Mitch Holtis, voice of the Chiefs for KCChiefs.com.